Welcome again to Miss Martin Muses. Welcome to Miss Martin Muses. We are we are musing on Jean Valjean book Jean Valjean from Les Misérables, part two. When we left off with Jean Valjean, he had promised to Fantine. He had promised to Fantine that he would look after his her daughter. So off he goes after escaping from prison once again because he is that awesome. He goes to find Cosette with the Thenardiers. He is incredibly horrified to find her being in a state of great abuse and neglect. And he pays off the Thenardiers to take her with him to keep his promise to Fontaine. When he becomes Cosette's father, something unexpected happens to him. And he first time in his life, for the first time in his life, feels what it is to love. Obviously as a father to a daughter, but he had never had time to be in love, that's what they had said before he went to prison. He never had a sweetheart. He was always just too busy working like a dog. So he never had that kind of love. Maybe he had some love for his family, but he couldn't even remember them. And again, he was they were in such a state of poverty. They could not just have the normal familiar relationships. And then, of course, he went to prison. But now when he finds Cosette for the first time, he knows what love is and what it means to do anything for somebody that you love. And he does. So he takes Cosette, completely illegal adoption if ever there was one. But Javert finds him again because Javert, I guess, is that brilliant in Paris. So Valjean and Cosette escape into a convent where they stay forever. Let me rephrase that. They don't stay forever. Valjean wanted them to stay forever. He was completely safe inside the convent. Javert could not ever find him. He, Javert tried, but they were like, dude, this is a cloistered convent. These are nuns. Isn't going to happen. Cosette went to school there, finally got an education. And she was encouraged to become a, a nun when she was old enough. This is what makes Valjean so incredibly awesome. His conscience started to bother him about that. If she became a nun, he could stay there forever. She could stay there forever. She would always be his. But his conscience bothered him because he was like, that's not fair to Cosette. How can she make a decision? without first knowing what the world is out there. She doesn't know any better. And he felt it was very selfish of him to be pushing her towards this because it was really for him, not for her. She was a young kid. She didn't know what she wanted. So off they go. And this is where a little bit of tension happens between them because he won't tell her about her mother. And in the book, he never does. Never. It's to protect her on so many different levels. We, we sometimes think in terms of our world. But something like that would destroy Cosette. And it was also so far out of the realm of possibilities that Cosette wouldn't even be able to comprehend it. That's how innocent she was. And he wanted to protect her more than anything. So that was the whole purpose of his life from here on out. It was all Cosette. Unfortunately, the inevitable happens. Cosette falls in love with the big dork Marius. And once again, Valjean finds himself in a situation where he has to do what's right, even though everything in him says no, he doesn't like it. 
he even gets a situation very similar to where he did when the man was falsely accused of being him, where Marius is on a barricade and is certain to die. And he selfishly for a minute says, yes, <laughs> get rid of this guy that goes that will be mine forever. Once again, no one's going to take Cosette from me. But of course, his conscience bothers him. So off he goes and he saves Marius. But in true Valjean style, doesn't tell because no good deed ever goes unpunished. He does everything in his power to arrange for his daughter to be married. He pretty much keeps everything about her a secret. Makes it all legitimate. So that Cosette's past, being the daughter of a prostitute, will not harm her. Again, a different world. A different world. The only thing that happens, though, is once Cosette is taken away from him, if you will, through marriage, by marrying her husband, and Marius, knowing that he's a convict, tells him to get lost, he withers away and dies. He literally dies of love or lack of love. He they say, you know, he lost his angel and it killed him. The joke, though, goes that what really killed him was going through that sewer. <laughs> That'll kill anybody, especially in a world before antibiotics. But to give us something of a bit of a happy ending, Cosette and Marius find out the truth that he saved Marius's life and he's not a terrible human being and they come just in time to see him die, to be reconciled, become a family a few before he goes. And there's a very moving death scene where Valjean says to Cosette, I'm leaving you these candlesticks. He says they're silver, but they're more than that to me. He says they're gold or diamonds or something to that effect. The, the candlesticks represent what bis the bishop gave to him by changing his life and teaching him love and bringing him to love by having him be a father. That was the best for Valjean. Being a father to Cosette was the best for him. And then he says something. I don't know if the man who gave him be happy with me. I would hope so. Words to that effect. Gosh, I'm almost choking up. It's very moving. He did his best his whole life. And then there's a moment where the servant says, would you like a priest? She knows he's about to croak off. And Valjean goes, no, there is a priest. Of course, there's not a priest there. Or is there? Victor Hugo says, the bishop was there. Surely the bishop was there. So we do know that the bishop was there to meet him, to take him to the great beyond, bringing it all full circle. And he dies. Having made the world a better place. Every person that he encounters after his transformation, he makes better. He even tried one of my favorite scenes with the thief Montparnasse. He tried to even change him. I don't know if he did because Montparnasse was dumber than a rock. Montparnasse tried to rob him and Valjean just turns around and kicks his butt in self-defense and then gives him a lecture and Gives him his purse and says, try to change, try to change. He changed Cosette, Fontaine, Marius, the endless amount of people the, that he assisted with his works of charity. And he lived a life of love. So there, Valjean is a great, great character. Love him to death. And there's a reason why, to this day, we all go back and visit him, whether it's by re-seeing the musical, 
or whether it's a new adaptation. It seems like there's a new dramatic adaptation about every decade for Les Miserables. So that is Jean Valjean. Jean Valjean, a character study. If you have not read the book, gosh, you got to read it because you get into his head. You get into his head. Next is going to be Javert. Next is going to be Javert. But not today. So have a good evening, day, afternoon, morning, week. And be certain, be certain, if you can, don't try to find an escape route through a sewer. That's just wrong on so many different levels, especially before antibiotics. Be certain to avoid that sewer. Have a good one.